Unit 10 Baby Steps for Walking Robots June 19th Humans have been walking on two legs for millions of years. So one would have thought by now we would understand the action well. Yet despite all our innate knowledge, we have struggled to build a bipedal robot. Those on show at the 2015 DARPA Robotics Challenge, while sophisticated, were so clumsy that they couldn't even manage to climb up a few steps. The truth is that taking even a single step requires multiple body parts to work in a symphony of mechanical efficiency. Walking requires agility, balance, numerous sets of muscles, and more. In addition, our bodies can still react rapidly if something goes wrong. It's no wonder that robot designers have a hard time creating a robot that can run all of these processes at once. Designers are not giving up though. They continue to work on their creations and are slowly getting nearer to their goal. One robot called Atlas, designed by Boston Dynamics, was filmed hiking through snow and up an uneven surface. While another, South Korea's DRC Hubo, has wheels on its knees and feet so it can change shape. Researchers are working on still another robot called Atreus to investigate the fundamental principles behind walking. There are many reasons why scientists want to build walking robots. These machines could work in places that are too dangerous for humans. For example, They could safely enter Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant. Moreover, the more we learn about how to make robots walk, the better able doctors will be to help people walk again after terrible accidents. With all these motivations and more to spur them on, robotics companies worldwide are pushing themselves to build better and better bipedal robots. Despite the challenges, it surely won't be too long. Before robots are walking beside us into the future.